If you want to be able to buy the most expensive players and open the best packs in FC25, go to u7buy.com to buy your EA FC25 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. With their already amazing prices, you can get an extra 6% using promo code INCEPTION at checkout. Okay, guys. So today we have the... This is a flashback, right? Flashback to Lishka? Yeah. Flashback to Lishka to check out. EA is doing a lot of the uh, Saudi League players. So you can kind of do a really cool concept in your team with the um, the Saudi League uh, with a Bumiang and stuff because the Bumiang is actually decent as well. Um, Talishka, I mean, honestly, with a card like this, I think you just give a Hunter chemistry style to, right? Uh, you just work with a dribbling as it is kind of thing. Uh, the reason why I'm saying this is because in the past, when it came down to his dribbling... His dribbling was interesting to work with because he's tall and lean. So because that body type exists, it's it's interesting to kind of just give him that uh, that hunter chemistry style. Now, will he be responsive? It's debatable. Um, he doesn't have a press proven on the cards, but he has acrobatic, trivella, quick step plus is interesting. He has finesse shots. So he actually has shooting capabilities, which could be interesting. Power header, dead ball as well. Um, he has. The playmaker plus plus for the cam position as well as a shadow striker. So he can be used in those sort of ways. But um, he can also be used in the right mid position too. If you want to have that like left footed player on the right hand side. Maybe popping in a finesse shot from time to time right. All depends on uh, how people want to utilize a card like this right. Uh, no defensive capabilities. Physical stats is in a decent area. So it should be an interesting card to try out my main concern with this card is obviously the dribbling stats because by the looks of it it almost makes me want to give him an engine chemistry style to make him feel a little bit more responsive give him a passing boost because if i decide to use him as a cam this is how i would end up you know using him potentially but obviously uh your shooting would be significantly lower so if you're not green timing your strikes or you're you know up against people that use the manual goalkeeping it could be a little bit weird to work with sometimes but yeah, we'll unlock him. We'll play him mainly in that cam position. I am trying out um, or cam position. I have, to, I have to find a formation for him because I don't actually have one right now because I already did the review for the uh, 4213 and he would be good good in that formation, but I have to try out something else. So yeah, um, we'll see how he plays, man. Hopefully he's a beast. Oh, unlucky. Couldn't do much there afterwards. Yeah, my game is in slow motion right now. You guys see this? What, like, what is going on right now? Oh, I thought that wasn't going to be a foul. I was like, seriously? Ah, uh, I had to do like a power one or something there. Fortunately, can't do the first time pass there. Don't have a ticky taka for those. Nice. Go to Lishka, good finish. Nice. It didn't initially pass to who I wanted to I wanted to uh there, but we made it work. Little uh Elasco angle into the green time strike. through pass that's a foul it's an off balance toward tackle okay
Oh, that actually worked out. Good. In a really good run there, actually. Just to lay it off to him. I thought I was going to get too close to the goalkeeper, but worked out there. Nice try on the green time there. We'll take that to Lishka, good stuff. Nice finish. Makes a really solid run right there, actually. Nice goal. Nice goal, nice goal. Oh, we'll take the deflection. I was going to go near post for that one. It looks like it was going to go in, but moving into the space there, he does really well. Good little goal. Oh, the whole play was good there, too. I'm lucky. Nice play. Nice play, nice play. Wow. Beautiful finish by Kalishka there. Really, really good finish. Oh, man. I don't know why that cross doesn't work, man. Uh. I'll take it. A little quick L1 dribble right there. Leashka with the assist. Let's go, Talishka. Good finish, good finish. Nice try on the Trivella. It's not a looped one, so it's not going to pop off. Oh, if I greened it. He was under pressure. That's why he took the strike like that. If I greened it, it probably would have been a goal, though. It was a great run that he made there. Nice finesse shot. Nice finesse shot. Good stuff. Good attacking play. Good goal, good goal. Wow, this registration is... Uh... Got the initial skill move, just not the one afterwards. Mm. 
Nice goal. Nice goal, nice goal. Good stuff. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the flashback to Lishka card. So, guys, I'm going to keep it real with you, man. Like, this is actually a really nice card. In-game, he's very, very solid. A um, couple things to mention. Obviously, with the Hunter chemistry style, increasing the pace and the shooting is, in my opinion, going to be the most ideal situation of the card because you want to be able to increase the finishing and the pace to be as high as possible. Uh, the dribbling, don't get me wrong. You sometimes feel the dribbling being weird, but it wouldn't be as weird on this card as it would be on some other cards with a different body type. I actually think that the body type compensates for the card quite a bit, and it's very, very helpful to have. Um, generally speaking, guys, I think that this card in the cam position, potentially striker as well, if you really want to. It doesn't have any roles for a striker right now, so the cam position more specifically. Um, I liked him, man. I thought he was great. You know what I liked him on the most? It was uh, with the the shadow striker, you know, to get those movements out of the card. Like when you guys saw those attacking AI movements, a lot of the times that was just me using him on the shadow striker on the playmaker. He would be fine on that too, but I just want him to get more involved in the attacking plays for us to score some of the opportunity that we ended up getting. Right. So guys, listen, man, say what you will about the 200 K price point, because at the end of the day, EA are pricing these cards the way that they're pricing them. But this is a very solid card in game. I think he performs very, very well for the meta of this game. And he's going to be really fun to have for the Saudi League team with flashback of Yang up top because Yang actually has some pretty solid movements too. So um, yeah, even though they're both physical players, they're pretty enjoyable to use uh, regardless of the price tag as it is. It's hard to comment on the price tag because that's just how we are going to do this, uh, do things nowadays. But is this card very, very solid in game? Yes, it is. It's a very solid card. So if you choose to do it, you'll get a card that actually, I'm, I'm going to be honest, like performs better than you think. You know what I'm saying? Like he definitely performs better than you think. He's very, very good to use. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. It's good that I got this card, man, because I, I like his attacking AI movements. It's very solid.